Welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. Last time, we had killed some poachers and I wasted everyone's time. This time, we're gonna go meet an old flame of Morgans. And fuck your gates, I'm gonna jump. Hey, friend. Hello. You're not immediately hostile. I like that. Probably not very smart, but I like it. We loved once and true to what? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton. Caller for you. Does everyone just answer the door with a gun in hand? Hello, Arthur. Mary. Um. I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, you've been. <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, uh, okay. I. Uh, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, <laughs> Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But... I I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Yes. Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Okay. Okay. Let's go help the little brat out. Bounty hunters. Yeah. 
Okay, okay. Is that all of them? Okay, you're fine. Damn bounty hunters. I'll be taking that. Fucking animals. No, I ain't exactly the good guy here. Alright, well, what was that? Oh. I don't want your shitty little revolver. I'm quite happy with my Vulcan pistol. Thank you very much. Or... I think that's what it was called. Uh, you, Mister, excuse me. Go to hell. What was that, you son of a bitch? You gonna get your skull cracked in talking like that? <laughs> Just lose the tough act. It ain't fooling anyone. Ain't no one will cry if I shoot you dead. I'd like to see you try. Say goodbye. Is it murder if he flat out shot at me? There. No witnesses. Okay, there were some witnesses. Damn it. Hey, mister. <laughs> First time hunting? I got all I need, thank you. You know, I can't imagine you have a lot of friends. Is that how you talk to folk? You're goddamn annoying. I'll shoot you like a sick hound. Hey, cool it. Why I don't like folk. Help a blind man. Help! They got 
the wrong man. You're after my brother Petey. Petey's always getting a dollar up. for your future. A dollar for your fate. Okay, here you are. That which is killing you will help you finally to see. And see clearly, friend. See and hear. All right, friend. Down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 up. Okay. Sorry for the audio. Cut. Studio One, you're fucking stupid. Why do you just randomly cut your freaking audio for no explainable reason other than you just feel like stopping for no fucking reason? God, that's annoying. Oh, for fuck. You know, if I could see where I'm going, that'd be just fantastic. You know what? I'll, I don't want to deal with the lantern. Move, damn it! Come on, Blucher. Need you to move. Horse cannot walk up sheer cliff. This is not Skyrim horse. This is Red Dead Redemption 2 horse. And they actually give a shit about physics most of the time. Oh, I just know this ain't gonna go well. Uh, excuse me! Excuse me! I want to keep my frickin' shock. Okay, seriously, stop doing that. I want to keep the fucking shotgun. I'm putting the weapon away. Oh, Lord. Are you serious? Easy. Oh, wait. I should probably lose the bandana. Why, why can't I lose the... I can't draw my weapons. Take it easy. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has 
chosen a path. He's chosen safety. Can I just what shoot path this guy? Have you chosen, sir? I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? Only when I'm dealing with assholes. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? Turtles? I have no idea. Um, uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. Oh, Lord. Um. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary! Then make up your mind! Shalonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask... Ah, oh, for Christ's sake. Oh, I figured it would lead to me having to take him in. Kicking and screaming it is. Always gotta do things the hard way. Hi, how you doing? I'm not gonna hurt you much. I might slap you around a bit. Just stop. Let's talk about this. This is none of your damn business. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. Yes, I am. Now shut up and get. Let me tie you ass up. I will drag you to your sister. Oh, for Christ's sake, kid. Jamie, stop! Please, Arthur! I'm a man now! I, I, I found something! A calling! You're just a kid! You're making a big mistake! I'm not taking advice from you! You're an outlaw! You leave me alone! They're good people! I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan! <laughs> Leave me alone! Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Damn it! I warn you, Arthur! I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore! Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone! Come 
Calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel sorry for this kid. It's okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yeah, kinda. I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Salonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Oh, boy. Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. <laughs> Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtles. Shut up. <laughs> All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, um. Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. Okay, it's kind of fun. young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I, I doubt it. No. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. Here we are. She must be waiting inside. Come on, squirt. Morning. We going in there? Good morning, sir. Jamie. Don't join any more turtle Jamie. clubs. Come home, please. You've father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy, my sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. I've... You're... Oh, you'll never change. I know that.
feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. We loved once but true. Mission complete. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Red Dead Redemption 2 as I continue to do more crime things and I'm not even entirely sure what I'm gonna do. John's got work for me. My bounty on strawberries sure as hell, sure as fuck went up. Ugh. But yeah, I guess I'll go see John since he's got work for me. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off.